Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in a video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Yassir, located on the Yassir River and involving elements of Belgian and French military against the German Empire on October 16th through October 31st, 1914. In a follow-up of their win at Antwerp, the German 4th Ersatz Division and Landwehr troops churned west towards Ghent and Bruges with orders to reach Blankenburg and Ostend on the coast. On October 16th, the German units attacked Allied troops under the command of Belgian Colonel Alphonse Jacques de Dixmoud. The Belgium and French defenders bravely held the town and later the Allied governments would use this defense to engender goodwill with civilian populations via propaganda. By October 18th, however, the Germans had shifted all their weight into the attack. Their focus was to deprive the access of the coastal towns of Calais, Boulogne, and Dunkirk. Slowly, the Germans captured several outlying Belgian and French outposts. The Germans were able to cross the west bank of the Yasser on, on October 21st while under fire by the French 42nd Division. During this time, Dixmude's defenders were constantly shelled by artillery but continued to hold on. In a last bit of desperation and seeing that their forces were going to be overwhelmed, Belgian command ordered the entire area to be flooded by opening the sluices at Newport. This was done on the nights of October 26th through October 30th during the high tides. The rising water level flooded the entire area that encompassed about one mile wide. Not to be deterred, the Germans who had already passed this area attacked again on October 30th and were able to overrun Belgium's secondary line. The Belgian and French forces counterattacked and recovered that lost land, and a larger battle seemed to be looming when the Germans realized that the land behind them had been flooded by the Belgians. This resulted in the Germans withdrawing on the night of October 30th, hoping to not be trapped. The flooding and heroic defense of this area stopped the final vestige of the German assault in a race to the sea. This is when trench warfare was already being developed and implemented, and would make this area just one big battlefield for the next four years. The Belgian and French forces suffered approximately 3,500 men killed, with another 15,000 wounded and missing. It is unknown what the losses of the Germans were. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.